Welcome back and moving on to our second segment for today. Well, on the behalf of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, Foreign Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli is participating in the activities of the third session of the Belt and Road Forum for International Cooperation in the Chinese capital, Beijing. Talking about this important event and about the Egyptian participation over the phone, we have the doctor or uh, Mr. Uh, Abdel Watif Wahba, and he's a journalist specialized in cabinet affairs. Hello. Hello. Good morning, sir. Good morning. So first of all, uh, I'd like to shed the light on the importance of the uh, Egyptian participation in this event in Beijing. Uh, as you know that uh, Egypt and the China strong relations, uh, historical relations. Uh, you know that, uh, for example, the uh, PC visited uh, and attended international uh, events in uh, uh, China uh, during the last uh, two years. Uh, uh, now, uh, President and, uh, uh, Prime Minister uh, uh, Mustafa Madhuri participated in the international conference of uh, um, uh, in China and also discussed uh, the um, uh, the uh, future of the Egyptian economic relations with the China as uh, China is uh, one of the uh, 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 biggest uh, investor, uh, investing uh, state in, in Egypt, especially in the new capital and also in the uh, canal uh, corridors. Uh, China uh, also was the first country that established economic zone um, uh, in um, uh, so, uh, in uh, Gulf uh, uh, of uh, Suez uh, Canal. And they have about uh, or uh, about three billion uh, US dollars investment uh, in Brazil uh, in um, uh, US uh, Canal Economic Zone. Uh, at the same time, as you, uh, as you know, that uh, uh, they are in a discussion uh, and the negotiations to increase. Uh, uh, the Chinese investment in Egypt during the current uh, uh, current period, um, as Egypt is seeking uh, for uh, more direct uh, investment. Right. Um, <coughs> when we talk about Egypt and the concept of being um, a regional logistical and commercial center for uh, the initiative countries. How do you see this and its impact on the Egyptian economy? Uh, yeah, of course, you know that uh, Egypt is basically first and after those uh, is uh, one of the international uh, 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 logistics uh, hub uh, for the international companies. Uh, the, I think uh, during the last few years, Egypt and the China reached to agreement to uh, a logistic uh, uh, area uh, away from the economic uh, zone. As the China can do this uh, for the half made, uh, uh, um, yeah, half -made uh, goods and, uh, and the sun. And they can be uh, refabricated again uh, in this logistic area, and uh, it's uh, the African uh, nations, African states, who and the two uh, in its uh, uh, in its journey uh, to the European uh, markets at the same time. Uh, so uh, China looks at uh, Egypt and the South Canal co corridors as one of the promising areas uh, for a fast and direct investment in coming barriers. And as you know, uh, uh, that uh, the uh, international crisis, economic crisis, also uh, the Russian uh, uh, Ukrainian uh, war. 
declare the precedent you have find a new way, new uh, areas uh, for uh, for public and supporting uh, the um, South East, uh, uh, um, East uh, Asian countries uh, to uh, to uh, European market to um, uh, to find its way also to uh, the African markets. Uh, this is uh, the main uh, principle uh, now uh, for uh, the cooperation in Egypt and uh, in China. You know that uh, China um, uh, is uh, one uh, of the biggest investors. This is the first one, and at the time, uh, uh, supported Egypt in export uh, the Banda bond. Uh, um, uh, during the last year, uh, sorry, during the last week, and uh, they guaranteed uh, the uh, issuance uh, of these bonds in the uh, Chinese market, uh, various uh, uh, at uh, 500 billion dollars, uh, 500 million dollars. Right. Uh, Mr. Abdullah Wahba, journalist specialized in the cabinet affairs, thank you very much for joining us. And with this, we come to the end of our breakfast show for today. Thank you all for joining us and stay tuned for more coming up on Nile TV International. <laughs> الفدا لم نخن فدا